I'm back with my second Christmas video. So today it is the Would You Rather Christmas edition and I'm going to start straight into it because I had the very long intro yesterday but if you've only just come here today then I'm uploading a video every single day into Christmas. Some will be vlogs, some will be beauty, some will be tags like this, um, fashion, bacon, there's going to be all sorts. Um, Let's get into this anyway. So there's 20 questions and I'm going to get started. Question 1. Would you rather have to loudly sing the chorus of Jingle Bells every time you walk into a room for a week or have to wear a Santa suit to school every day for a week? Definitely wear a Santa suit. Imagine if you had to sing every single time. Like, I sing anyway, but every single time you walk into a room, like, even if you go in the toilet, like, you're still walking in the room, you're going to have to sing before you can go to the toilet. Like, I can't wait for that. But having to wear a Santa suit to school, Yes, please. It'd be very comfy for start and you would look quite cool. And I'm not going to say would you rather before each one because it'll just get so repetitive. Make presents for your family instead of buying them or make ornaments for your Christmas tree instead of buying them. I'm going to have to say with make ornaments for my Christmas tree because if I make Christmas pre presents for my family and friends then they'd be turn out to be awful presents. Like, I won't make presents. Like... And that just won't be any good, but I feel like making ornaments for your Christmas tree, you'd probably, well, you just have to make baubles, which they can't be too hard, right? And a bit of tinsel. Wow, you can't really make tinsel, can you? But, um, yeah, we're going to go with the making ornaments for your Christmas tree. Not celebrate Christmas this year or not celebrate your birthday this year. For me, that's an easy one. Not celebrate my birthday. I could not not celebrate Christmas if you get what I mean. Like, Christmas is the favourite time of my year. Um... And I look forward to it all year. Like, my birthday I don't really care about. Like, I just get another year older. Like, it's only me who celebrates that. But it's Christmas. Like, all my family and friends do as well. So, like, it's just so much more fun. And your birthday's kind of one day and it's over with. Um, but Christmas, you can hold it out for, like, a whole two months. Have Frosty the Snowman for a friend or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for a friend? <coughs> I'd have both of them for a friend, to be honest. But I feel like the disadvantage with Frosty the Snowman is that you'd have to always be outside in the cold in the ice, in the snow. That's not for me. Whereas Rudolph, he can be in the house or in his like stables, whatever, and yeah. And like Rudolph is the coolest reindeer, so I feel like if you hang out with him, you know, you're in the cool group. Have mistletoe hanging in your bedroom doorway or have a large decorated Christmas tree in your bedroom doorway. I don't, I don't see the need for mistletoe. I don't need any, um, <laughs> but I do see the need for a Christmas tree and I always have a Christmas tree in my room every year. Anyway, that is like a mini deck decoration like that actually isn't a christmas tree but i do have a christmas tree like but you just can't see it but you will see it if you watch my room decoration tour which <coughs> i don't know when it's gonna go up but it'll go up soon have christmas tree tinsel for hair or have fing fingernails that light up like christmas lights definitely the finger lane blah, fingernails that light up like christmas lights how cool would that be like your fingers would just be glowing all the time like that is pretty cool yeah Christmas tree tinsel for hair now, nah, like, as much as I like tinsel, <coughs> no. And then, like, tinsel would just be falling out everywhere, like, that wouldn't be good. Be at home on Christmas and get lots of presents, or go to Disneyland for Christmas but not get any presents. Now, as much as I want to go to Disneyland, I have a thing about, we've always stayed at home for Christmas, um, and I want to carry that on as a tradition. I just feel like that's where Christmas should be, well, that's how why I feel it should be. Um, just with all your family, and just where you know, there's nothing like nowhere like home for Christmas, so... That's why we're going to go with that one. Eat your cereal with eggnog instead of milk or eat a candy cane sandwich. Now, I've never tried eggnog and I know a lot of people don't like it, but we're going to go with that because I never really fancy eating a candy cane sandwich. Like, imagine like mint, peppermint and bread just really wouldn't go and you'd always get the candy cane stuck in your teeth. That just wouldn't be good, so we're going to go with the eggnog instead of milk. Live in a giant gingerbread house or ride on the Polo Express? Um... I'm going to say Riding the Polo Express because it would just be such a magical train trip and it would just be so cool um, and it's so Christmassy. Whether you lived in a giant gingerbread house, I would end up eating all of it. Like, then there'd be no house left. There'd be no furniture because it'd all be gone. Be allowed to only eat fruitcake for two days <coughs> or be allowed to only eat candy canes for two days. Now, does that mean, like, you can only eat fruitcake and candy canes that day or does it mean they're the only two days you're allowed to do it? Well, either way... We're going to go with candy cane. No. If it's the way it's like you can only eat that that day. Um, Fruitcake. Because I feel like that would just fill you up more. Um, And again actually we're going to go with that one if you could only eat it. Because I don't really eat any of the two. Like I'm not a fan of fruitcake and candy canes. Well I do like them but they just get stuck in your teeth. So 
I don't really know with that one. We'll just go with the fruitcake one. Write a five paragraph essay about the meaning of Christmas or solve a page of Christmas for your math problems. Now, I could easily do both. Like, I could write essays upon essays about the true meaning of Christmas, why I love Christmas so much, and all of that jazz. Um, but then I do love solving maths problems because if you know me, I do take double maths at A level um, and I do love, I just love solving problems. Um, so we're gonna go with that one because it only says write a five paragraph essay and I feel like I could write more than five paragraphs. So we'll go with the maths problems. Have a nose that glows red like Rudolph's or have pointy ears like an elf. As much as like a massive red nose, Sounds cool. It's really not. Like, I have a red nose anyway. Like, if it's cold outside, my nose just goes bright red. So, I wouldn't want that. Um, I haven't pointy ears like an elf. My hair's always down, so my hair can discover it. Like, sorted. Visit the North Pole or visit Bethlehem. Now, I'm not religious at all, so it'll have to be the North Pole. Plus, that must be, like, the most Christmassy place in the world. So, that just sounds great on all levels. Receive socks for Christmas or receive a dictionary for Christmas. Now, I receive socks every single year of Christmas. And I love receiving socks, so... We're gonna go with that one. And to be honest, if I received the dictionary for Christmas, I'd kind of take offence to that. Like, do you get what I mean? It's kind of showing you, like, look, you need to open up your vocabulary. Whereas socks, socks are just socks. Who doesn't love socks? Be given a hundred pound for Christmas to buy things for yourself, or be given a thousand pound before Christmas to use to buy gifts for other people. So I would definitely go with the spend a thousand pound on other people, like. Imagine, you could literally buy them anything and that would just be so amazing because I've always wanted to spend more on my family and friends but I just don't really have the money to so my gifts are kind of quite minimal so I'd definitely love that if I could spend more on other people and I wouldn't want it like I like getting presents from other people like I wouldn't really want to buy myself anything because I don't know that just not kind of I treat myself all year round so I don't really need to treat myself for Christmas. Get many small presents for Christmas or get one big present for Christmas. I love getting many small presents. I've always said this. I just love opening loads of stuff and I feel like if you get a one big present like a phone, you just open one thing and for me that just kind of loses the magic. Like like that kid inside me, I still would love opening my presents on Christmas day. Um, and I love it to last for as long as possible. Like does that sound greedy? I don't think it does because like who doesn't really? It's just then Christmas lasts a bit longer where if you just open one present it's kind of like Thanks, but, you know, I mean, it's, like, done with. Whereas, I like the excitement of unwrapping stuff as well as receiving presents. Have a job wrapping presents at the shopping centre or have a job taking pictures of children sitting on Santa's lap. I'm going to go with the wrapping presents one because I love wrapping presents so much. Like, I even say this, I could do it as a job. Easily, I could wrap presents as a job. Plus, you never know when you're going to get. Like, you could get odd-shaped presents. Whereas, taking pictures of children sitting on Santa's lap, it could get a bit boring because you just have to, like, press a button all day, which... That'd be quite very repetitive. Be one of Santa's elves or be one of Santa's reindeer. Definitely be one of Santa's elves. I even applied for an elf job this year. I didn't get anything back, sadly. But, um, and this would be so cool. And I'm small anyway, so I kind of fit the role perfectly. And imagine, like, you'd get to... <coughs> you'd get to make all the presents and you'd get to be your like, buddy the elf. Whereas if you were one of Santa's reindeers, then you'd probably have to do quite a lot of work, wouldn't you? Like, you have to carry Santa in a sleigh for starters, so, um... Yeah, we'll be an elf. See the Nutcracker or dance in the Nutcracker. Now, I've never seen the Nutcracker because I'm not into ballet, but I'd say see the Nutcracker over dance because you have to be, obviously, amazing at dancing and ballet to dance the Nutcracker, which would never happen. So, we'll say see the Nutcracker. I just feel like I haven't been saying the numbers throughout. Oh, well. The final question, though, so question 20 is spend a day watching Christmas videos, so film and TV, I suppose, or spend a day Christmas shopping. Um... <coughs> as much as I love Christmas shopping, it can be very hectic and I get I get very stressed out and then there's just carrying bags everywhere and oh my god my voice is going. Luckily we get to the end of the video. Um <coughs> oh my god. Oh is it come back? It's come back, my voice has come back. Um so we're gonna do watching Christmas films and TV shows because I love watching Christmas films. I would do it all day if I could, so Definitely the watching Christmas videos. So there were the 20 Would You Rather questions Christmas edition. If you would like to answer them, I'm going to leave them in the description box below anyway. Um, so if you're a YouTuber, you can do it on your channel if you like, or you can just answer it with your friends, or answer it in the comments so I can see, kind of get to know you guys a bit more. Sorry for the coughing and like croaky voice in this video, and like the sniffing, but um, yeah, hopefully I'll be better for tomorrow's video. Um, but I think that getting a video up is better than no video at all. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here and you want to see all my videos every single day until Christmas. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for day three.